Hi, today I want to show you a little bit about our new product. It's called the uh, CTU. It's a uh, central uh, telemetric unit, specially actually designed for uh, all sorts of uh, turbine engines, and uh, most of the uh, manufacturers are also supported. So, first of all, I want to show you the main screen, which is actually a Lua script written for the DS24. In color, here you can see the RPM, EGT the pump value and the battery voltage and the status messaging uh, where it says now trim low and uh, that actually uh, works great and it's a great dashboard when you're uh, starting uh, your turbine and I want to show you a little bit of the Lua features uh, first of all we go into uh, applications and there you see the CTU dashboard config and uh, here we can uh, set the display size, large or compact. Color scheme, you can choose many colors. Here you can set the maximum RPM that is shown on the screen before it actually goes into the, let's say the maximum area. So if you're comfortable with three quarters, that's your normal running RPM, then you set it here to that uh, RPM. Maximum EGT goes the same uh, setting. Uh, here we can configure actually the audible messages that are coming from the CTU and uh, so what you can do actually is hear every single message that is uh, passed through the uh, ECU of your turbine and you can choose which one you want to hear and which one you don't. So uh, we tried the first variation which uh, uh, had all the messages on and it can get pretty annoying to hear everything. Not everything is needed and uh, for us it's important uh, that we know uh, flame out of low voltage battery or something else. So I have a few options here turn on, fuel ramp, the flame out, speed low, the ECU of line is not that important. I have the bad start or low RPM. The stages, I didn't do those, not needed. Glow test, well, not needed either. Ignition is important. The restart function for King Tech, that is also a good one. And uh, your ready option, and we can go on and on. And uh, see low bad, low bad, and the unknown. So that, that's actually what, what I support. But you can turn on every message you want. Now, if we go back, we have another uh, cool option, which is the fuel warnings. So what it does actually, uh, as soon as you reach, uh, let's say, your threshold, you can go in this menu, you can enable the fuel warnings, you can uh, select the percentage of when you want to hear the alarm. So uh, you can set, of course, your own alarms, but it's not needed to do them separately because it's built in here. So if you want to have a low fuel alarm here, 30% or 50%, uh, you can set it here. Do you want to hear also a voice message? That's possible. You're going to hear a fuel low. Uh, the vibration alarm, that's also interesting. You can set it to left, right, both are none. Uh, I have it on the left stick since I fly Mo2. That's uh, actually better for me. And of course, the interval, uh, which uh, reminds you of the fuel low every 30 seconds or 25 or what, what you prefer, up to uh, one minute. Let's go back and go into the device explorer, that's uh, a world novelty, I think uh, this is the first uh, uh, turbine telemetric that has full Yeti support and uh, can be settable into, in the uh, device explorer. So let's go there, go model, device explorer, here we can see all the things I have connected, so it's a Cortex Pro, CB box and then I have the CTU. Well, let's open the CTU. We have the first one, uh, the menu structure. We have the general settings. Uh, set units, we can set a metric or an imperial. We have the device ID, which is actually done if you have a multi-engine setup. Uh, you can use this one as the master and you can set many more CTUs. Uh, we did about four now as slave one slave two slave three or continue it will have of course its own array of uh, of uh, sensor so uh, that's also no issue uh, as you can see when i did a change actually it reminds me 
to save the settings. You have unsaved parameters. So what you do if you make a change here or anywhere else, it reminds you that you need to save them before you continue. There's also the uh, altimeter reset if you want to have continuous flights or uh, hot refueling. So you want to continue your flight, but uh, the air pressure has changed or the temperature of the surrounding area that will mean your altimeter will be off a little bit uh, with this function you can reset it to zero again before you start um, let's go back then we have the fuel reset which is actually uh, a cool item many people ask us to do this so uh, let's say you have a taxi tank connected and uh, you have to wait on the flight line before you can start flying your uh, engine is running idle most people have the timers on the engine start or on uh, retracting the landing gear so your timing is off and you're not exactly sure anymore how long you can fly well we did the, the fuel reset counter which actually as soon as you disconnect your taxi tank you can hit the reset button and it will start counting again from 100 percent and down uh, in the same time your fuel consumed will stay the same so it will continue counting how much fuel you used in that flight or when you're still on the ground the ECU config holds um, you can select uh, the ECU type you have so at this moment we have a uh, sport fox sequoi the uh, digitech is also supported uh, for the lombard and the rams the old ones the the first fadex evojet uh, the king tag of course amt and uh, in the future we uh, can even provide more here you can set your tank size here's the pump factor which I'll explain later and here you can see actually at this moment how much you have in your tank and uh, how much uh, is your percentage uh, this is the low default pump factor so we have a few few pre settings which we tested on King Tax. if you press this button it's going to give you a suggestion of your uh, fuel factor and they will come back in that uh, later the port config here are the uh, two extension ports on the CTU it's basically an extender uh, so even when the CTU takes one place of your central box or uh, other receivers this one has also two um, expander uh, ports uh, expander one actually you can just use an EX bus it's not changeable EX2 however that can be changed so we can change it into EX bus or the server uh, when you go on server you have your uh, channel options uh, you can choose any channel it wants to do and of course the fail safe type hold or position and you can also set it at this moment uh, system status is going to show us all the data that is current now so it's uh, the altimeter that's now on one meter air pressure CTU temperature g-forces and uh, frames that come in and go and uh, the losses they have also for CAN bus and the exports and um, that's it that's the explanation of the uh, of the CTU thank you very much for your time